Dr. Yang di Shadi Bos, Dr. Yang. Lima <laughs> kredit. Anak ada stable na pala boys nito. Pag stable na boys, hindi pa ako nasa dami. Hindi na. Good morning, Marie. You're on. Now? Oh. Yes. <clears throat> Spectacular morning to everyone. Thank you to all those who are tuned in right now. We have the SNP leaders, members, even the Herbalife triathletes, and to all the corporate staff. Spectacular morning to all of you. We are now on the third series of our Simply Probiotic product training. And in the first two trainings, we were lucky to have two great speakers who shared with us their knowledge on probiotics. But today, we are so honored because our invitation was granted. We are having a very prominent speaker. So get ready with your pens and papers to jot down important notes. He will surely impart a lot of information on Simply Probiotic. We encourage you to ask questions later after the training by typing in the chat box. So let me introduce him to you now by reading his incredible and impressive credentials. Okay, um, he graduated um, his uh, Bachelor of Science in Psychological Sciences in UCLA 1992. Uh, he took his Master's in Public Health from UCLA 1995 and uh, his medical degree at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine year 2000. He is a dupl diplomate of the American Board of Family Practice and a diplomate of the American Board of Clinical Nutrition Specialist, both in 2004. He was assistant clinical physician, UCLA RFO Weight Management Clinic. And uh, during his stay in UCLA intercollegiate varsity athlete, he was a varsity athlete in track and field and cross country in both 1998 to 1990. He was the Vice President of Medical Education Herbalife from 2005 to 2012 and also the Vice President of Product Marketing Herbalife 2012 to 2015. And he's the Vice President of Product Training from 2015 up to the present. So ladies and gentlemen, our renowned speaker, Dr. Luigi Graton. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully everyone can see me and hear me clearly. Hopefully it's a thumbs up. I'm so excited. First of all, I wanna thank all of you in the Philippines and if you're anywhere in the surrounding in the region listening in, I'm very excited to join you. I haven't been back to the Philippines in the region in a long time. So I'm hoping I can come and visit you very soon again. Um, but I'm broadcasting here from Los Angeles, California. And I'm very excited because we're going to be talking about probiotics. Thank you uh, to the entire team who put this together. A lot of people are putting this whole production together. So we're hoping that you get a tremendous amount of value out of it. What I'm going to be, do, what I'm going to be doing is walking you through uh, some of the training slides on the probiotic, the Simply Probiotic product. And then afterwards, I think we're going to have time for questions. And of course, this is a very um, informal training because Herbalife is one big happy family. So whether you're new or you've been in the business for many years, we welcome your questions. We want to hear from you. We want you to ask us anything you want about the product, um, about how it's used and, and the beneficial effects of it. Okay, so I'm here in my office in Los Angeles, California, and I'm very excited to join you. So any problems, just let me know. 
Um, I think we have a chat function where we can get your questions and comments from the chat function. And we've got a whole team that's working behind the scenes. So feel free to submit whatever you like. And, um, and I just have to say, for all of you who are committed to the Herbalife mission for nutrition, making the world healthier and happier, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work. This company and this mission of Mark Hughes does not function without you. So you are the most important part of the company. We always say the products are the stars because that's what we sell and we promote. But this company is nothing without you, the independent Herbalife Nutrition Distributor. Okay, So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your hard work. Without you, we are nothing. Um, and that's the way Mark Hughes created this company. Okay, so I have two computers. I've got my big screen and my, and my computer screen. So sometimes I'll be looking up and down, so please forgive me. I'm going to move to the share screen function, and hopefully you can all see my probiotic. Let's see. I got a thumbs up. We're getting this. Let me see share right now. Ooh, let me see if you guys are, hopefully you're getting the screen um, that says, let's see, probiotics now. Let me see if I can. Are you guys seeing this okay? Yes, sir. You get it, sir. Great. Now, slide screen. I'm going to start the slideshow. Let's see if this comes out. Is that clear? Uh, we need to click on the upper part, sir. Yes. The upper part to upper part. Uh, we close this. Uh, yes, because it's the the screen of your other com other monitor would appear. So, are you seeing what is the microphone? Yes, sir. Maybe okay. you click the uh, swap display. Swap display. Thank you for. Yes, you are my, my private coach here. Here we swap displays. Here we go. Let's think so. Okay. Is that working? Full screen. Full screen. Okay, we're good to go. Ready to go. Thank you for your patience, everybody. So we'll get into it. We have about about 20 slides, about 22 slides. So I'm going to try and move through them. I want this to be easy. I want you to sit back, relax, enjoy this presentation. And I want you to understand the importance of this Herbalife Nutrition product and really the importance of the microbiome and healthy bacteria. So you're going to hear this term a lot, microbiome. Uh, and some people will say microbiota. Now, it may sound strange, but it simply means that inside your body right now, most of the cells that are all over your body, in your teeth, in your nose, in your ears, in between your toes, uh, in your armpit, in your elbows, there are bacteria. And, and, I, and I don't mean just a few hundred bacteria. There are millions, billions, and trillions of bacteria. And they all have a job to do. It seems kind of strange. Why would bacteria be all throughout my body? Well, they have a very important job, which we're going to talk about. But this is what we are now studying. Scientists all around the world are understanding the importance, the essential nature of the microbiome. We cannot survive without these bacteria inhabiting our bodies. I know it sounds strange, but it's essential. So your body and your digestive system are hosting tens of trillions of microorganisms. It's incredible. You have, your human body is a miracle. It is a, it is a, <clears throat> excuse me, it is a phenomenal miracle because there are trillions of cells that are uh, helping with the circulation of your blood. Trillions of red blood cells, trillions of skin cells, you name it, heart cells, liver cells, um, all types of cells. But most of the cells in the human body come from bacteria. And they are not cells that we are born with. As soon as we come out into the world as a little baby, these bacteria immediately stick to our body. And more importantly, most of the cells are inside your mouth, in your esophagus, in your throat, in your stomach, and in your intestine. Over 80% of the cells that we're talking about today, or today on this call, is really inside the body. So collectively, these microbial communities are made up of good bacteria and bad bacteria, and it's the gut microbiome, okay? 
So first slide, we're gonna keep moving. So this, and by the way, thank you for the team in the Philippines who helped put together these beautiful visual slides for us uh, because it's such a nice picture. You can look inside the body and you'll see that image of these strange cells inside your intestine in the colon. And that's exactly how it looks inside the body. And what's really interesting is all of these bacteria that are inside the gut, as we say, the intestine, they communicate. They communicate with your heart. They communicate with your liver. They communicate with your brain. And this is why we know now that so much of our immune system, which we're going to talk about, so much of our nervous system is communicated from the gut to the brain. Many of you have probably been stressed about something. Maybe you have children and you're worried about their health. Maybe you're worried about your job. Maybe you were studying in school, worried about a test. Often when you stress, when you feel stress, you will notice you'll have a stomach issue. You'll have uh, an intestinal issue because the connection from the brain through the microbiome is very powerful. Okay, mm -hmm. So the gut needs a balance of the good and bad bacteria to function optimally. This is a very important thing, not only for our health, but in the marketplace. In Herbal Act Nutrition, all of you, if you're doing the business, you're selling products, you may be creating a livelihood for your family, and you're relying on our products giving results. And this is where Herbal Act Nutrition is so powerful. We want to work on certain, we want to work in the areas of nutrition, such as the gut microbiome. Okay, so this is, we're talking about Simply Probiotic. I really want you to understand the product that we're talking about is very powerful especially compared to other products in the marketplace. And I'm going to tell you why our product is so different and why these other products, a lot of them don't work, okay? Um, so why is the gut bacteria so important? So this is the basic reason why all these bacteria, whether they're outside the body, but especially, remember we said over 80% are inside the body, they help you digest your food. Without these bacteria, you wouldn't be able to absorb certain nutrients, vitamins and minerals from your food. So during digestion, the bacteria help to make vitamins and they're vital for life. They also, this is a big one here, they send signals to the immune system. So a lot of the time, uh, research has shown over time that when people take, uh, let's say, lots of antibiotics and it kills a lot of the natural bacteria, they often will get sick in another area of the body. Um, they may get a fungal infection very quickly. And that's very common in a lot of people. So we know that the bacteria help to protect. So these bacteria make small molecules that can help your brain work. And our intestines is truly the first line of defense, screening for dangerous bacteria. That's why, you know, when I joined Herbalife in 2005, I thought it was very interesting. As a doctor, I met so many distributors, so many of you, and you taught me so much in Herbalife Nutrition. But what I found very interesting is people told me they don't feel like they're getting sick. They feel energy and they feel healthy. And I thought, well, I'm a doctor and I know every adult gets sick twice a year. And I know every child gets sick four times a year. So how can it be that people who use Herbalife Nutrition are not feeling sick? They're feeling energy and they feel good and they feel healthy. Okay, yeah, I know they're exercising. I know they're drinking their shakes and they're taking their tablets and they're drinking the aloe and their tea. What is it about these products? Well, the products are helping to support these healthy bacteria. And these bacteria keep your immune system strong. Yeah, so let's keep moving. Now, there's a difference that I want to, I want to point out. The product we're going to talk about is called Simply Probiotic. P-R-O, probiotic. And the probiotic simply means it's a bacteria. Um, sometimes you will hear things like prebiotics. So right now, as you're listening to this webinar and this Zoom call, we're talking about healthy bacteria. But right now inside your body, you have trillions of these bacteria. And they like to eat. Now, the good bacteria love to eat vegetables, especially the parts of the vegetables 
we call it resistant starch or things that are found in high fiber foods. So if you eat a big salad with asparagus and spinach and different things in there, the things that are not digested as they move through your intestine, your healthy bacteria love to eat those carbohydrates. These are carbohydrates that it's fiber that we do not absorb. It simply passes through us. Now, why is that important? Well, when we eat fruits and vegetables, the healthy bacteria eat the fiber and they create short chain fatty acids. Not important to understand exactly what a short chain fatty acid is, but they make these substances which kill the bad bacteria. So you've all heard of E. coli. E. coli is often, um, sometimes we hear about an E. coli food outbreak when uh, let's say a restaurant has had problems with their food and then a lot of people get sick, they go to the hospital, they have um, uh, diarrhea, loose bowels, and then the doctors give people antibiotics to kill the E. coli, that's the bad bacteria. All of us, when we're eating a good diet, when we're being healthy and active and eating Herbalife, we're giving the bacteria good nutrition so that they're killing the bad bacteria. So you want the good to be more than the bad. Okay? So that's what a prebiotic is. Whenever you eat a fruit and vegetable or when you're eating a fiber product like from Herbalife or you're taking some of the shake which has fiber in it or some of the tablets which have fiber in it, those fibrous products, the bacteria love to eat them and they break down into substances which kill the bad bacteria. It's incredible, but it's a miracle of Mother Nature. So substances in foods that can't be broken down by human digestive enzymes, that's what the prebiotics are. They give health to us and they travel deep, deep down to the lower intestinal tract, like in that picture I showed you before, almost look like an intestinal x-ray. And that's where they're really fermented by the probiotic bacteria, okay? And they make these short chain fatty acids, which kill things like E. coli. So. Now, I don't want you to feel like many of you may be saying, whoa, hey, this is a lot of science. Don't worry. I just want you to hear the explanation. Many of you may be doctors or nurses or healthcare uh, workers. That's wonderful. You understand a lot of this. If you're not uh, having a background in science, don't worry. I want you to simply understand and have confidence in these incredible products that Herbalife Nutrition provides. Okay, so you understand prebiotics. Prebiotics are, is the food that we give to the bacteria. Remember, you already have the bacteria in your intestines right now as you're listening to the Zoom call. Fruits, vegetables, cereals, Prebiotics. all kinds of other edible plants that Prebiotics. all have the potential to provide the prebiotics. Um, and we could go through a list of different things like artichokes, asparagus, bananas, berries, chicory, garlic, green vegetables, legumes like peas and beans onions, tomatoes, oats, barley, and wheat. These are all great sources of naturally occurring prebiotic fiber. So that's all well and good to eat the prebiotics. But what we're realizing is most people around the world are not eating enough prebiotics. And so when you're not eating enough, the bad bacteria can grow and they compete with the good bacteria. So we need more good bacteria. How can we get them? Well, many generations ago, if you talk to your great grandmother or your great grandfather, they would tell you that they ate more organic, natural food. Food that came right from the ground, right from the garden, or right from the natural soil. And the dirt, the soil, had a lot of bacteria in it. So if they ate a tomato, or if they ate a vegetables, straight from the ground, even the meat that they might eat would have healthy bacteria in it. So it provided a lot of healthy probiotics. Now, the way food is produced is very different. We're not eating as much fermented foods, and we're not eating a lot of foods rich in probiotics. That's why the Herbalife Nutrition product, Simply Probiotic, is so important. We have an opportunity to boost the amount of probiotics and healthy bacteria, okay? So, so we know that the World Health Organization, they have very good information that defines what a probiotic is. A live microorganism, again, bacteria, 
which when administered, when it's given in adequate amounts, it gives health to you or me. And they can be found in certain foods, drinks, and supplements. So here's an example of some of the foods that you're probably very familiar with. Um, and if you're looking at the, um, the sign that says probiotics, you'll notice yogurt, kefir, uh, fermented food, all of these things will help yeast. All these things are what these foods that provide bacteria into the gut. So again, why do we need probiotics? Where we know that there's poor diet. People are simply not eating the way our great grandparents ate that organic natural food directly from the soil rich in healthy bacteria. When we get stressed, as many of us are, because we live in stressful environments, it takes its toll on the um, probiotics. Lack of exercise and other environmental factors affect the balance in our digestive system. You know, when you think about it, this is what, when Mark Hughes started Herbalife Nutrition, and he just called it Herbalife at the time, back in 1980, this is exactly what Mark was talking about balance, stress, poor diet, leading to things like bloating, discomfort, and other symptoms. And the probiotics keep the growth of other potentially harmful bacteria, and they can help promote healthy digestion, maintain your overall health and well-being. Now, this may sound like a lot. Let's break it down to when you're talking to a customer. You'll notice that statement, this can lead to bloating, discomfort, and other symptoms. If you are talking to a new distributor, or you're, let's say, recruiting a new distributor, or if you're just talking to an, a customer that you're selling a product to, it's often difficult to discuss probiotics. So what I usually say is ask them. I usually put my, my hand on my stomach when I'm talking to my, my, uh, my friends or patients or if I'm talking to an Herbalife customer and I'm talking to them about nutrition. I put my hand on my stomach and I say, hey, I want to ask you something. And then I move my hand up towards my heart, almost like I'm rubbing my chest, and I say, do you have any problems up here, like acid reflux, mm. indigestion? Or then I move my, my hand down towards my belt line, and I, and I say, or do you have any bloating, discomfort, or gas, or constipation, or you know, uh, bowel issues? In 10 seconds, you can find out some of the issues that your customers have without getting too personal, right? Because obviously in Herbalife, you don't want to say, hi, I'm an Herbalife distributor. Uh, are you going to the bathroom every day? No, they don't want to hear that. That's a little bit too personal, right? So sometimes just a gentle putting your hand on your stomach and you, you, you move it around and say, do you have any issues up here or do you have any issues down here? And then 70% of your customers, I can guarantee you this because I'm a physician and I see so many people, everyone has some digestive issues. So 70% of your customers, if you're not talking to them about digestive issues, you're missing out on getting these great products to them. Okay, so let's keep moving along. We're almost halfway through the deck and we'll be finished and we can take your questions. So we talked about the good in the green there and the bad bacteria, the red. Um, and that's not exactly how they look, but we're, mm -hmm. we want a diagram. So the benefits of these probiotics, they promote proper digestion when you have the good bacteria. It improves more nutrient absorption, helps to minimize abdominal discomfort and a big thing, it keeps people regular with their bowel movements. And that's a thing that we don't talk about enough in Herbalife. It's very important. People need to go to the bathroom so they can avoid on a regular basis. So don't be afraid to ask your uh, customers or new distributors how they're feeling, if they have any issues. Remember, you're not a doctor and you're not trying to cure disease. You're simply helping them with some of their issues, okay? So what are the benefits of the probiotics? Again, help balance the friendly bacteria, the good in the digestive system. You'll see them, they're almost looking like the knights in shining armor, marching in with their horses, yeah, right? If we do that diagram. And it helps to reduce symptoms of certain digestive disorders. It also helps to boost the immune system. And this is very important. Now the probiotics, they feed the good bacteria. And like we said, when they're feeding the good bacteria, these good bacteria, they make these short chain fatty acids and the short chain fatty acids kill the bad bacteria, okay? So very important. All right, we'll keep moving. Now, this is where most of your, many of your customers will say, oh, you know, I'm eating yogurt. I'm eating fermented cheese. 
I have miso soup. Fantastic. Maybe they take kefir. Uh, kefir is very popular in, um, in certain parts throughout Asia. So if whatever type of um, fermented food, I know in the Philippines, I think there's a, there's a delicacy, a famous fermented egg that some people may, may try when they visit the Philippines. Yeah? So fermented foods are very good. You see a picture of the pickles there. Um, they're wonderful because fermented foods have these natural bacteria, these probiotics, and when you eat the fermented foods, they get into the stomach, they get into the intestine, and they populate. And that's great. So the probiotics can be found in most fermented foods, like we said, yogurt, cheese, miso soup, and of course, simply probiotic. But I want to explain why this product is so unique. So let's, let's move on to the next slide. And the simply probiotic, and now I want to start to get into why I think everyone should have a serving of this product mm. every day. This is a very specific product. Now it's a mm. daily powder and you can blend it into a drink, but it's a powder form you can mix in your drink and it helps to promote the growth of friendly bacteria in your gut. And that of course, of course is gonna help maintain the balance. Now, if you look on the label under Simply Probiotic, it says Bacillus Coagulans powder mix. And this is very important. Because the product has a particular type of bacteria that's wrapped in a protein shell. This is the important thing that Herbalife Nutrition delivers. Most of our competitors that sell probiotics, the probiotics they sell are not wrapped in a special protein shell. The protein shell protects the probiotic so it gets through the stomach acid. Right now in your stomach, as you're sitting here watching this webinar, there's acid that protects your stomach. So if you eat any bacteria, it gets eaten up. If you eat any uh, viruses, or if you get, so, you know, if you touch some uh, a table that has, let's say, a little child had some mucus there, and then you somehow get it in your mouth, your stomach acid destroys all that. So the acid is a very strong protective barrier for things getting in their body. So that's a very strong line of immune defense for us. However. When we're eating bacterial uh, products from other companies, they don't protect them in a protein coat. Simply probiotic, the bacillus coagulans is specifically wrapped in a protein coat, so it survives the stomach acid and it gets down into the small intestine, okay? So I wanna show that to you as we're going along, but this is a major reason why this product is so important. So did you know, according to the World Health Organization, and ISAPP guidelines, for an organism to be considered a probiotic, it has to survive the transit through the gastric system. So this is very important. In order for a real probiotic to be defined, it has to get past the stomach acid. And that's a big test. Now, a lot of companies cannot prove that their probiotic survives mm. the stomach acid. So. A lot of your customers are going to tell you, oh, I'm taking this probiotic. It's very cheap. I buy it at the store. It may be refrigerated, but it's not surviving the stomach acid because the stomach acid destroys so much. We have a very unique probiotic, Bacillus coagulans, naturally wrapped in a protein coat, and it gets through the stomach and it goes on. So this is a very important point I want all of you to understand. And you're going to see uh, also why it's so incredible that you can cook and bake and you can freeze this product in any temperature you want to um, you want to prepare it with okay so how does simply probiotic work well we've been kind of talking about it but it contains the patented ganadin bc and that's bacillus coagulans bc30 that bc30 that the type of bacteria survives the acidic gastric journey, and you see that picture, that big bubble is the stomach. If you look at the top of that picture, and that's the stomach acid, and it's getting through that stomach acid, surviving the gas, gastric acid journey, and it doesn't mature the bacteria until it gets where it, conditions are just right in your oh. intestines. It's amazing because this bacterial uh, protein coat, it's almost like you're putting a seed in the backyard in your garden. Imagine if you planted a seed in the garden and then it would take time to germinate and to open up. 
That's exactly how this product works. It passes through the stomach. It finds a part in the small intestine. When it senses the right temperature that your small intestine provides, the protein coat opens up. It's like cracking a nut and taking the shell off, and there is the bacteria. And it plants right in the small intestine, creates the short-chain fatty acids, which kill the bad bacteria. It's incredible, and that's why people get such great results. Okay, So that's very specific to this type of product that we buy called Ganadin. BC, that's Bacillus coagulans number 30. It's a very specific type. Now, uh, it's natural. It's a natural probiotic. The ingredient is added to many foods and beverages. So we're not the only company in the world to sell the Ganadin BC 30. However, we believe that we are one of the only companies in the direct selling space, especially in multi uh, multi-level marketing, but in the direct selling space, we are very unique in the space to have this product. We look at a lot of food companies that are using this, and they may have a food that you can bake with, uh, and they have them in the U.S. I don't know if I've seen them in the Philippines yet. So I think this is going to be hopefully a very new concept for you and your customers in the Philippines, and you can really take advantage of it and leverage the, the, uh, the new uh, concept. So it's natural probiotic of beneficial bacteria added to many foods, beverages, and supplements. And, of course, it's a registered trademark. I know it sounds like, wow, it's like a trademark, like a patent. It's exactly that. When they um, grow these bacteria, they have to make sure that they all look the same because when they look the same, we know that it's going to function the same way. And that's that BC30. So an ingredient in foods, beverages, and supplements, I'm going to keep moving here to the next slide, and we're almost done. We only have about five uh, more slides, six more slides. But what makes this product different from other probiotics, it's extremely stable due to the ability to form a protective spore. Now, a spore always sounds very weird to me as a doctor, I think. A spore, a spore simply means it has a protein coat. Just imagine like a seed, a plant seed, that's going to germinate in the garden. So just like a seed waits to grow until spring when the temperature and the moisture levels are, are optimal, that's exactly how the BC30 works. It waits till the right temperature mm -hmm. in the small intestine, and it unfolds like a seed germinating in the garden. And quite honestly, we are the garden, right? And that's how our body works. The protective shell also gives this BC30 the ability to survive the harsh manufacturing processes, the product shelf life, and the journey through the digestive system. Most other probiotics can't survive these stresses. So this is really important because I've worked at Herbalife now for 14 years, and we look at a lot of competitors. A lot of the competitors, they tell you, oh, we have more probiotic. We have 20 billion, 30 billion. But when they eat the product, they destroy all of it in the stomach. So it doesn't matter if you start with 30 billion. If you destroy 100% of it in the, in the stomach acid, none of it is getting through. Mm. With Herbalife Probiotic, Simply Probiotic, it's amazing because all of it survives the stomach acid. Okay? Now, how unique is it? This is incredible. You can, you can use this product to bake um, you, if you want to, if you want to boil it, if you want to freeze it. Um, if you want to squeeze it, if you're blending it in your shake, it doesn't matter. The important thing is because it's protected by this protein coat, it will survive all these um, harsh environments. And the cool thing is it's natural. It has this natural coat around it. That's how it comes naturally. So um, it's a really fantastic product, and I'm so happy that we are finally selling it in the Philippines. We also have it in Mexico. We have it in the United States. Um, and so... You are really one of the first countries in Herbalife to get it, so we're very excited. So, spore-forming versus non-spore-forming probiotics. The spore-forming probiotic organisms, they have this protective layer, as we've been saying, and they're the only probiotics that have the ability to withstand the harsh processes. Again, the gastric acid and the bile salts that you, your, uh, bile, your uh, gallbladder right below your liver that makes for digestion. 
So there's a lot of enzymes your body is naturally making to break down foods. It won't break down the probiotic until it gets to the right place. Now, the non-spore forming probiotics like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, they often can't form this protective layer. So the only reason I mention this is most of our competitors, whether they're in the direct selling space or on the shelf, your customers are probably using lactobacillus or bifido. They'll say bifidobacterium or bifidus. And those two are the most commonly used probiotics. Just about every company sells those. Very few companies are selling Ganadin BC30. That's why we're so excited and we think we're going to have so much great results and so much great business selling this product. So there's lots of science behind it. Published scientific studies have proved that 70% of these probiotics survive after passing through the stomach and small intestine. That's a huge number. To say 70% when they do these studies is huge. Other studies, when you look at uh, com competitive products, the other products, almost all of them get destroyed. It's incredible. So I, I often wonder how much actually survives. Okay, we only have a, about two more slides. Why you're going to love this product, it's easy to mix it into any food or drink. You can put it in your favorite shake. If you're making a, a Formula One pancake or a waffle or a bread or a scone, muffin, whatever you like, you can bake it. You can make it in cold cereal, mix it in your hot tea, any way you want to make it. It delivers an active probiotic cultures every serving, promotes the growth of the friendly beneficial bacteria, and it comes in a powdered format that mixes easily in your favorite food or drink. It can be hot, it can be cold, or it can be frozen. And why you'll love Simply Probiotic, why you're gonna love it again? There's no refrigeration required. Remember I said, if you're talking to your customers, they're gonna tell you, I'm buying a probiotic uh, from the market and it comes in the refrigerator. You don't have to refrigerate this at all. It can stay as a dry powder on the shelf, in your car, no problem, it's gonna survive. Um, one serving a day is one scoop, so you're going to have 30 servings for every canister, and it contains about 4 calories per scoop. There's no added flavors, colors, sugars, or sweeteners. And our last slide, Simply Probiotic, your gut's oh, best friend. And I love it because there's my favorite shake, my cookies and cream shake, uh, mixed with my Simply Probiotic. I put it right in there. And I uh, love taking it um, every day. It's amazing. So I'm going to stop sharing and see if I can get the correct. Stop sharing. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can close and then. Oh, okay. Yeah. We already see you, sir. It's already stopped. Good. It's already stopped. Good. Uh, Maria, you're on the line, and uh, our um, general manager for Philippines, Shidar Raju Kapalan, is here also. Our so I, I'm happy to take any of your any way that you guys would like to, uh, whether it's questions or comments or um, uh, Q and A, you know, any way that we can help people understanding the product, and if they have any questions, we're here for you. Yeah, yes. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. There's a question on the, here in Australia, we can only buy probiotic complex in capsules. So what is the difference between probiotics complex and capsules or simply probiotics, which is better? Great. So again, fantastic question. Um, I so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm I'm pulling up the chat questions as well. I love it because I can see it using my, my two computers to look at the chat questions. So this is a wonderful question. Now remember, I'm not saying that other companies don't have good products. What I'm saying is that for many years, other companies have been advertising one billion, then two billion, then five billion. And you'll see it on the label CFU, Colony Forming Unit. And most companies are keep saying we have more, more, more probiotic. And now I see companies with 50 billion, even 70 billion colony forming units. 
The problem is, whether it's in a capsule, whether it's in a yogurt, whether it's in a tablet, if it's refrigerated as, in a, as a, some other form, they often get destroyed in the stomach acid or the digestive enzymes in the intestine. So that's bad. Now, I'm not accusing any companies of not working. I'm saying a lot of consumer studies are showing that they're not surviving the transit through the stomach. So we simply know that we have confidence in our BC30 that we're using because of this shell. So I would say if you're talking to people, if they're taking their probiotic and they feel good, no problem. But if you have someone who's saying, I really want to make sure that this I'm probiotic is working, then you can give them the confidence. A question ko. Spore, or that protein How does probiotics help in the balance of stomach acid so you can prevent hyperacidity? And they're going to feel People often feel it because their digestive acid to get balanced very quickly. So, um, great question. And I know it may be different in Australia, but just understand most of the probiotics out there in the marketplace are probably not surviving um, the harsh environment. Another question, sir. Is there any age limit in using probiotics? Great question. Now, age is very important because here in the United States and North America, well, Canada is part of North America and they have very different regulations. In the Philippines, I'd want to check with the marketing team first and I can get back to you guys. Because here in the U.S., we're allowed to use probiotics in younger people under age oh. because the government and the regulatory environment allows that. So if, let's say if uh, I have two children, let's say if one of my kids puts them in her shape, it's okay. There's no regulatory issue. There's certainly no medical issue. It's not going to hurt anybody. Now, if you have a little baby that's one year old, okay, I'm not recommending that. I think feeding from their mommy or having a good formula, and they're going to get probiotics from the either mother's milk or the formula. So very, very, very small. We don't have it. Mom, mom naturally makes probiotics, and of course, a lot of mom. However, talking about children, they want to use it. There's no medical issue. So very important. It's not going to hurt anybody. However, I just want to make sure, from the training perspective, for all of you leaders in the Philippines, that um, we want to make sure we get the age right. So why don't I talk to the legal team first, and then I can write you guys back and make sure I send an email blast out to the team. Um, but I'm pretty sure, I know it's safe for everyone, but I want to make sure that it's not 18 and above, and it's okay for Okay. Just uh, there is a lot of question about the age limit for, uh, for um, taking uh, probiotics. If it's okay for children, if it's okay for three, four years old, we have quite a number of questions. So uh, we'll get back. To, uh, we will take them on that. Then, can I mention, sorry, can I mention? Um, yes, yeah. there is a huge market for children's probiotics throughout the, all over the world. So you're going to see it in the Philippines. You'll see television yeah, commercials um, of no, little no, children no, trying no, to go no, to the bathroom. No, no, they no. have these commercials in throughout Europe. In the US, throughout Asia, it's a big market. I just want to make sure, uh, so there's no problem with kids taking probiotics. From the regulatory perspective that Herbalife operates in, I just want to make sure that you, as an independent distributor, that I'm not giving you the wrong information. So if it's 18 and above, I'm going to find out. If it's you know 14 to 18, I'll find out. So I'll find out for you guys, and I know it's a common question. But remember, from the medical perspective, Children can use probiotics, no problem. I just want to make sure from the company legal perspective that it's not a problem promoting it. Yeah. So we have a question from one of our president's team, and Gina Abbott. Uh, he's ask, she's asking about maltodextrin, which is um, uh, in the label of uh, probiotics, mm -hmm. and she's also asking the best time to take probiotics. Great question. Thank you, Gina Lynn. Um, so... Think about what maltodextrin is. A lot of people, um, so first of all, there's a lot of people who are a little bit concerned or confused about maltodextrin because people around the world don't want any forms of carbohydrates. People are doing the keto diet. People are doing um, 
um, high fat, low protein, I should say high fat, moderate protein, very low sugar diets. And they often look for maltodextrin label. We use a little tiny bit of maltodextrin as what we call a binding agent. Maltodextrin mm -hmm. is, comes from plants, so it's a binding carbohydrate. Nutrition. Think about dense. using something fibrous that uh, we can stick our tea. So when you have some little bit of tea, you're getting a tiny bit of maltodextrin so we can put the green tea. We have to stick it to something. If not, the green tea would be this big. The product would be tiny. The same thing with Simply Probiotic. When we add the probiotic, we're microscopic probiotics. So we can't give you a product that this big, this big. We need to thicken it up with something. And that mm. something is maltodextrin. It's an excellent, safe, and very effective binding agent. So it's an easy way to combine the probiotic or BC30 onto a food source, which comes from plants. And that's why we use maltodextrin. It's very low in calorie. It is a form of carbohydrate, which is a lot of a reason why a lot of people get a little nervous and like, oh, am I having a lot of sugar? No, this is extremely low in calories. We said, I think, four calories per serving. And that's probably from the small amount of maltodextrin. So don't worry. No issues of sugar, no issues of uh, sugar spikes, nothing like that. But we need a binding agent because if not, the product would be this big and you wouldn't want to be able to sell something that small. So. The maltodextrin is very help. It's very helpful because it's a great binding agent. Great question, by the way. So you can still see the Q and A uh, portion. Um, you can see the question about pancakes and pancakes. Yes. And there's a question of understand um, how to differentiate between fiber and herb. Yes, that's a good one. So let's start with the pancakes. Uh, so you can really, that's a great question. If you mix it with pancakes, how many servings will I put into the mixture? You know, I wish Susan Bowerman was here right now. She left about two hours ago from the office. This is a wonderful question because we haven't tested it with um, our own servings for baking, uh, cooking, making soup. But just think about what, um, if you're preparing for pancakes for two people, I would put two servings in. Okay, so if you're making enough, let's say, four pancakes is for one person, four pancakes is for another person. You can just put two scoops of the uh, Simply Probiotic and it's gonna give you a serving for one person. So think about one scoop for one person per day. And that's how I would suggest you dish, uh, you dish it out or you, you, um, you uh, measure it out. Um, so very good question. And that would be the same thing for a muffin. If you're baking bread, if you're cooking, making a soup. This is one of the unique things about this product Everyone needs healthy bacteria in their gut, so you've got to get it in your food every day. Why not cook with it? So you can find all these great, um, great ways to use it. Okay. Um, so we've got the pancakes. Um, understand, so I can read, should I read Serena here? Serene Hing. Understand that it's good for stressful life that creates bowel movements issues. Does it mean that it's also best for customers with gastric issues? Absolutely. Now remember, in Herbalife, um, we are not doctors solving medical problems. So if someone says they have um, acid reflux, this may help. That's not really a medical issue that is going to um, that we can't address. We're allowed to talk about some very benign issues like indigestion, gas, things like that. However, we start getting into um, uh, diagnosed medical issues like. Um, let's say a, uh, an ulcer. If someone has, says they have a gastric ulcer, we're not suggesting that this program is going to cure their ulcer. So we always want to make sure that we're staying on the right side of our legal and regulatory uh, parameters. However, if someone talks about you know uh, general issues with their um, with their digestion, they can try that out. It's not going to hurt them. And if they if they are on medication, go talk to their doctor. Most yes. doctors have what people on a probiotic, in? especially if they're taking huh? antibiotic because medication yeah, right because it kills a lot of the natural bacteria. Huh? So doctors are giving different probiotics anyway. They might love like that you're giving them a simply probiotic. Yeah, okay, heck. so make yeah, sure they talk about see. I'll try to make Now, them. another great question. How do you differ from fiber and herb? Thank you. That's health quarters. Yeah. 
How do you uh, differentiate from fiber and herb? Great question. Like now think about it. Family. Remember we said right now as you watch the Mommy. training, you have you have um, you have bacteria mm -hmm. throughout the gut what from the call? entrance all the way to the exit. Okay, so there are trillions of bacteria lining the gut, and they're all sitting there waiting to eat. And they can eat good food or bad food. When they get bad food, sometimes it it doesn't help them grow, and the bad bacteria like E. coli can take over. What's good for the good food? Fibrous foods, fiber and herb, a product like that. So think about anything that's fibrous that we don't absorb. Um, if you eat, if you go outside and you eat raw vegetables from the ground. A lot of that roughage that we don't absorb in our body that passes through us, the bacteria are going to eat that. So there's there's components of fiber and herb that are going to act as prebiotics. Remember we talked about the prebiotics? Those are going to feed the good bacteria and make them strong. They're going to create the short chain fatty acids, and that's going to kill the bad bacteria. Okay. So um, think about fiber and herb as something that's going to help support the uh, their their gut. So thank you, Joy Bart, for the great training. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, Joanna Hernandez, is there a maximum amount of probiotic intake in a day? So this is a great question. These are all great points. Wonderful point. What I would recommend is follow the label directions, especially in the Philippines. You have a huge market, almost 100 million people throughout the Philippines. We want to make sure that we have very good uh, product training throughout the Philippines because we want you to become huge, the number one country, right? Um, so, of course, I suggest one serving a day. If you want more, if you feel that you can have more servings, that's okay. But I often say if you're having four servings a day, it doesn't mean you're going to get four times the benefit. So we recommend one serving a day. That's the way it's designed. And also we want you to be co price conscious because we know in the Philippines, Price consciousness is very important. I talk with a lot of you uh, distributors in the field when I see you around the world in trainings. And of course, I work with the corporate team, all of our colleagues, and they tell me that, listen, we don't have a lot of, uh, our customers don't have a lot of extra money to, to, to buy every product. So they have to be very price conscious. So I would suggest one serving, get your customer to feel the results, especially remember if they have digestive issues, you know, you can tell them, Hey, do you have any issues up here? Do you have any issues down here? Then you can get them on the product. They'll feel results. And that when you get a, you get a customer for life who often becomes a distributor. So um, I would say one serving a day. Okay. Now, how many probiotic strains do we have in the Herbalife Simply Probiotic? Great question. And I want to say we have 1 billion, but I might have to owe you an answer. But I believe it's 1 billion colony forming units. I think 1 billion. Um, but remember... There's a lot of companies that sell 20 billion, but when you eat their 20 billion, right, you have a lot more, it all gets destroyed. We have 1 billion colony forming, colony forming units, and we know almost all of them get into the small intestine past the, the acid. So it's really not about how many CFUs you start with, it's about what makes it into the gut, okay? But I believe the answer is 1 billion, okay? Is it suitable for all ages, say infants also? I would say not for an infant, um, only because of, again, our regulatory environment for Herbalife. I know a lot of kids and very young children on, are on probiotics, but I wouldn't uh, promote that we start giving this product to infants. Not yet. Until we make a true infant formula, we want to stay away from that. And remember, I'll find out what our regulatory uh, team recommends for age, whether it's 18 as a cutoff, cutoff or if we can go down to 14 or 12 year olds or eight year olds and what. Um, in the US, again, from a medical perspective, because the regulatory environment in America is a little bit easier, I give my kids products. I recommend, you know, I, it's my family, it's my wife, my children. I give my kids the products because I know medically they're totally safe. However, as an Herbalife independent distributor, so we can't have you going to a children's school, setting up a table, and selling simply probiotic. You can't promote it in little children. So, so that's what I want you to understand. From the, is there's the medical and there's the business perspective, the legal. 
So from medical perspective, no issues. But from the business and legal perspective, we don't want to promote in infants and very young children. Okay. Um, Francis Kadig uh, Bak, yeah. Regarding our shake mixed in the pancakes, is it all right for the shake powder to be heated, Dr. Leach? Oh, great question. So if we're making, let's say, pancakes or, or waffles, can we heat up the shake mix? Yes, you can make you can make waffles or shakes with Formula One. You can make muffins, scones, bread, whatever you like. Here's the only thing. If you mix the Simply Probiotic and Formula One, when you make the pancake or you cook or whatever you make the bread, the protein is going to survive just fine. The probiotic, it's going to survive just fine. The vitamins and minerals, they may not survive because vitamins and minerals are very delicate and heat can destroy a lot of vitamins and minerals. So we cannot guarantee that vitamins are going to survive. Minerals may, but the protein will and using the macronutrients and, of course, the probiotic. So if you're going to make pancakes, no problem in terms of the protein. So if you, let's say, get uh, nine grams of protein for your shake, you make pancake mix, nine grams of protein in your pancakes with the probiotic. Okay? Rexon. Uh, yeah, this is uh, in the Tagalog. Uh, sorry. <laughs> this is for uh, um, pregnant women. Oh, uh, yes, yes. This is uh, pregnant. For, for pre great question for pregnant women. So again, medically speaking, a lot of pr a lot of pregnant women are using probiotics anyway because it's very important for the baby's health and for the mother's health. Because uh, the regulatory environment, we always want to recommend just have them talk to their doctor just to make sure they okay it. Medically speaking, not an issue. It's always about legal and regulatory, and we always want to make sure we're in the right regulatory environment. So I always recommend anyone who's pregnant. I always tell them. Talk to, bring this in, talk to your doctor if you're having digestive issues. Now remember, think about what happens when mom is pregnant, the baby's growing in the uterus, but the baby's getting long and big and they're pushing up on the stomach. And what happens with mom? They start to have indigestion, reflux. Anyone who's, and I know my wife, we've had two babies, and right away, well into the pregnancy, the reflux, the indigestion, the gas, the bloating, she'd have to lay on one side. So having a probiotic really helped her, and a lot of our products really helped my wife when we went through the pregnancies. So make sure that that pregnant mom, they can take the product label, they can go talk to their doctor, and they can make sure the doctor approves and says, you know what, I like this product, and I was going to recommend a probiotic anyway. Again, it's not a medical issue. It's more of a legal regulatory issue, so we, we always want to be, uh, be doing the right thing. Okay. Ivy, should I keep going? Ivy, what will happen if you drink more than one scoop in one day? Does the product, can you overdose? And thank you so much. Great question, Ivy. So no, you won't overdose. Um, now, some people I've noticed who are very sensitive, I would say most people can have two scoops, three scoops, no problem. But remember, price sensitive. For your customer in the Philippines, if they can just afford one scoop, or, you know, one scoop per day, I don't want to give them promote. I want to promote three scoops because they're going to be spending more money and they won't be getting that much more of a benefit. In terms of overdosing, no, that's not going to happen. It's not as though too many bacteria are going to hurt them or they're going to get gassy or bloated. It's probably just going to be um, what we call a law of diminishing returns. They're going to be spending more money buying more products because more scoops, but they're going to get the same results if they just did one scoop. So I would recommend you don't need to give them multiple scoops, but there's no such thing as an overdose uh, with probiotics. Um, perhaps people who are very, very sensitive, maybe they'd have a little uh, change in their constipation or their bowel movements, but usually it helps improve them. Okay. So I would just say one a day. What's the best time to drink the probiotic from Nita Marinon? Thank you, Nita. Uh, the best time, uh, it depends, really. I like it in the morning because that's usually when I have my shakes. I have a shake be in the, early in the morning before I go to the gym. When I come back to the gym, I have my recovery shake. So I will have it in one of those shakes. I usually put it in my morning shake because that's the one I like to load everything up. My wife makes her own shake. She puts more frozen berries and she uses a different flavor. But then she can add it in there if she likes. So it really depends. But here's the important thing. I recommend doing it in the morning because research shows 
compliance with your customers is better when you do it in the morning. What does compliance mean? It means they're going to follow it every day. They usually remember, oh, that's right, when they're making their shakes in the morning. Sometimes at the end of the day, they get back from work, they're with the family, they're having dinner, might forget. So I would recommend early morning is better compliance. Okay, mm -hmm. That's what I would recommend from my perspective. Rowena uh, Amig Amigable, yeah? How can probiotics help people with high visceral fats or diagnosed with fatty liver aside from their basic nutrition club program? Oh, that's a great question. Now, so the probiotics aren't going to, so thank you, Rowena. Probiotics aren't going to do anything very special in terms of fatty liver. In fact, what the most powerful thing for fatty liver, and Dr. Heber loves talking about this, because you've probably seen Dr. Heber present on this, is our program in its entirety. When people are using Formula One, the shake, the tea, the aloe, they're getting fit, they're doing the Samantha Clayton fitness programs. As they lose weight, they're literally losing fat in the liver. So we see the livers go down, even in skinny people who didn't know that they had fat in their liver. We can actually measure the fat in the liver. Now, fatty liver is actually, uh, it's a form of disease of the liver. So we don't want to really say that we're curing fatty liver, but quite honestly, any doctor knows when they're getting someone to lose weight and get healthy, they're burning fat in the liver and that the fatty liver gets improved. So this is a medical issue. So if they're seeing their doctor for fatty liver, the doctor is going to measure the liver enzymes and with time on an Herbalife nutrition program, healthy, active lifestyle, doing what their doctor says, managing their weight, they will probably improve their liver condition, right? Improve their condition. Their doctor will be driving that, that whole program. And then they can say, wow, it's really been a lot better. So I don't, I cannot make the connection from simply probiotic to help, to helping fatty liver, but just understand anyone who is on a healthy, active lifestyle, it's going to be great. And that's what Herbalife Nutrition does. Okay. So great question. Uh, Rainier Franz Kono Nero. Yeah. Get it? Okay. Is there any contraindication with uh, knowing medication? Uh, oh, with any type of medication, diabetes, hypertensive drugs? Great question. Uh, no, generally there's no issues um, with using probiotics because when you think about it, there's healthy bacteria. In fact, a lot of bacteria have some types of jobs uh, metabolizing and deactivating toxins. And a lot of the drugs, when they do their job, the body has to sort of get rid of them. So having the healthy bacteria in the body and replenishing it with simply probiotic is only going to help. So there's really no contraindications. I've never seen anything that is going to be a problem with taking a probiotic counteracting a drug. So no issues there. But if you're ever concerned, of course, talk to the doctor. Uh, this is from All Ages Wellness. Thank you for the training. Awesome. We have a uniform answer to questions that they compare to our local brand, which is Yakult. Oh, very good question. <laughs> very popular. We discussed this before. One uniform answer is that we can easily use. Thank you. Oh, this is great. Yakult is a great company. It's a big company. The beauty of what I learned from Mark Hughes, I learned that Mark Hughes put his button on the right side. I learned that Mark Hughes would shake his hand, shake people's hands. And he would say, hey, I'm so happy to meet you today. I've got something exciting to talk about, Herbalife. But I also learned from all of you who worked with Mark, we don't say bad things about other companies. So Yakult, I have no problem with Yakult. I've seen their products. They're big in the United States. They're sold everywhere. <laughs> However, remember, Yakult is a different strain of bacteria. And remember what we said about the stomach acid. Whether they're having common yogurts or some of these beverages that are similar to Yakult, they're most likely a lot of it getting destroyed in the stomach. So how can we guarantee that the bacteria is getting in the small intestine? We have the BC30. That's in that shell, so it's guaranteed to get in the small intestine. So I'm not saying bad things about Yakult. If they want to take it, no problem. Maybe, it, maybe it's a lifestyle. Maybe they enjoy it. Maybe they feel better. I'm not saying any bad things about the company. What I'm saying is I'm putting my confidence and trust in Herbalife Nutrition products because I know the way we wrap it in that shell with the BC30, okay? Um, so great, thank you for the Yakult. So now uh, Jones, Jonas Chua, 
Is it okay to take pro probiotics even if you have you're maintaining medi medications? Again, always talk to your doctor if you're concerned, but there's really no contraindication uh, taking medication and having the probiotic. I can't think of any uh, a mix that would cause the probiotic to deactivate the medication. It's just, I can't, I've never heard of that before. So if your doctor for any reason says, hey, I'd rather you not take them together, no problem. You can take your medicine first and wait one hour. That's what I always say. If you're concerned, just wait an hour and take the probiotic afterwards. Or you can take your probiotic and then take the medication an hour afterwards. But truly, not an issue, not a big, uh, not an issue I've ever heard of. Okay, so I would say no issue there. Um, how does probiotics, this is from Charm Ulat. How does probiotics help in the balance of stomach acids so you can prevent hyperacidity or ulcers? Ah, so remember, when we talk about hyper uh, hyperacidity and gastric acid, we're talking about, and especially when we're talking about gastric ulcers, we have to be very careful because this is where doctors come in and treat with different types of medication. They often give antibiotics. Um, they give different types of um, uh, antihistamines, which kill the stomach acid production. We're talking and they about often treat them for six to eight weeks. This is what I used to do when I was in uh, the hospital. Be very this so it's very common. Come so I would say we don't want to mix the two. We're supplement. Remember, Herbalife Nutrition is food and supplementation. Medication is medicine. So we're two different worlds that we live in. We're not talking about um, the, the sort of the same thing, right? Um, so very important. Um, so by the way, is the Q, can you guys see me? Am I blocking myself with the Q and A? Did I, can you guys see me okay? Yeah. It's okay, sir. You're full. <laughs> okay, great, great, great. Because I've got the Q and A open now. So it's beautiful. I'm reading all the questions. Okay, so um, so so in terms of uh, think about gastric acid uh, issues like that, uh, can you recommend this to people with acid reflux? I think now this is depends on. Thank you, uh, Christina Herrera. It's a very good question. Can we recommend it again? If someone's got a uh, a type of reflux where they're where they're seeing the doctor and they're being and on medication, I don't see a problem with taking the the product. However, we do want them to meet with their doctor and they can ask them. I know I'm, I'm like a broken record. Bring it in, bring the product in, bring the label in, ask the doctor. I think the doctor, remember, they're often going to have them on a probiotic anyway because they may have them on an antibiotic, which kills the, the bacteria. They need to replenish it. It's a very common thing now with doctors to replenish the bacteria. So this would be a great probiotic to be on. But... If you're concerned that they're using medication for gastric reflux, uh, gastric acid reflux, then have them talk to the doctor. If they if they have indigestion, like I said, the upper indigestion, um, I think they may see some benefits. So it's up to them to try it. It's not going to cause any uh, issues. But again, if they're on medication, have them talk to their doctor. If they are simply have indigestion, they can try it and see if they're feeling okay. And that's the whole idea. 70% of your customers are not talking about their digestive issues. We can reach a lot of people, okay? Um, Alvin Velasco, great question. What's the half-life of the probiotic? Alvin, I don't know, but I can find out because I know the people that we um, work with to get the probiotic and to package it in the products. And they're a huge team of very smart scientists, and I can find out the half-life. So if I can Science take this as a homework assignment, I have two or three questions that I'm going to owe you guys to get back to you on. So let me get back to you on the half-life, but just understand that the half-life is, by the way, half-life simply means the time that it takes for half of the, the probiotic to die off and half to stay living in the, in the gut. So imagine if the half-life is one day, it means that half of it will get destroyed and half of it is still in your gut. And then the next day you would take another scoop and then you'd have another full and then it would take another day. So let me find out for you, but it's a very good question. But I can tell you that it's the half-life is probably long enough that you're covered for at least a day or more. So, but um, I'll find out. Okay, that's, a, that's an excellent question that, I, that I've never been asked and I don't know. Um, Kelly Chang, I've been taking every day, but still got bubbly stomach. 
probably gassy. Should I increase to two scoops? Is it to consume in morning or dinner time? So great question. So first off, Kelly, first off, I would say um, stick with the one scoop and I would try a different time of the day. I would first like you to try, try it in the afternoon. If you're doing it in the morning, try it in the afternoon. If that's not working, try it in the evening before bedtime. This is where I think it works very well. Some people may take it um, with their shake and they feel, if they don't feel like they're digesting it um, very well, they can take it at night when they're going to sleep and they sleep and again, it's clearing the, di the stomach and the digestive tract and it's like you're planting your garden while you're asleep for eight hours. So I would first just suggest one scoop. I wouldn't move up to two. Again, want to be price conscious in the Philippines because I know a lot of you are very concerned with your customers. And just do one scoop, but move the time around so you can find a time where you're comfortable. And I would say, if you really need to, just take it before you go to bed at night. Again, I prefer morning, but try it at night, and then you'll sleep through the night, and you'll feel great. Okay? Galaxy S6, when is the right or recommended to take pro probiotic? Is it for an empty stomach? Okay, so... Um, you can have it on an empty stomach. You can have it with a shake. You can bake it in a pancake. You can make it in bread. Any way, soup, tea, aloe, cold, hot, any way you want to use it. I like putting it in the shake because I put as much stuff in my shake as possible because I always have my shake, right? In any country I go, every morning, I drink shakes every single day. I actually drink multiple shakes. So for me, it's an easy way for me to get all other products into the shake. So I would recommend adding it to a shake, but if you really want to try it by itself, no problem. Or if you want to cook with it, no problem. If you want to mix it in your eggs in the morning, anything you want to do. Remember, that's the beauty of this product. It's very stable, all temperatures, okay? Joannis Chua, I've read this probiotics can help with mood elevation or depression. Is that true? Yes, it is. Ooh. Now, can we make the claim that we're curing depression? No, yeah. we can't. <laughs> However, if you have a customer who is, you know, want, just believes in probiotics and they're taking it for a variety of reasons and they notice a mood elevation, that's great. We love it. We can tell that testimonial. However, we don't claim that we're curing depression. But if someone says, I'm using Herbalife products, I'm living a healthy, active lifestyle, my mood is better, fantastic. We think it's great. But remember what we talked about at the beginning, the brain-gut connection. There's a very strong connection through something called the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is where a lot of bacteria communicate right up to the brain, and the brain communicates right back. It is a miracle of nature, and it's very few of us understand exactly how it works, but we're getting more information. So, yes, mood is supported with healthy nutrition. Joy Bart, I'm taking it with no water. Great taste. Is that okay? Absolutely. You can totally take it any way you like. Remember, any temperature, any type, whether it's wet, dry, powder, liquid, any way you like it. Oh, Ava voice. Gonzalez, any side effects that I should look should that I should look out for, so I won't be alarmed. No, Ava, no side effects. If, as uh, our uh, one of our other distributors asked earlier, if they feel like they're not digesting it well, they don't feel very good. Like she mentioned, a little gassy. Try it at night before you go to bed. See if you can sleep eight hours or six to eight hours and just take it and it won't bother you when you're sleeping, okay? Maybe sometimes people load up with a shake and they go to work and they feel a little gassy. Generally, I notice people always do much better with it. Maria Concepcion Estoy, same here. I have a five-year-old kid, often E. coli, three times a year. Then sometimes the doctor recommends a Prevacid brand name and then I, that one I can't understand, but I got most of it. So, uh, so Maria Concepcion, you're just agreeing with me on the E. coli and the whole idea of the bad and good probiotics and then having more good and it takes care of the bad. So it looks as though you have lived this situation with uh, your family or your friends. Alfred Almario, can we take probiotics even if one is under medication for diabetes or cardiovascular disease? Yes, again, if someone's on medication and they're concerned, they can bring it into their doctor and talk to them about it. But often there is no issue having probiotics with medication because quite honestly, when a doctor has someone on an antibiotic, penicillin, amoxicillin, it kills a lot of the natural bacteria in the gut. And we need to get more 
natural back, a good bacteria. So they prescribe a probiotic or they tell them go buy one. So I always say it's a wonderful product as a supplement for us to sell. Bang, is it safe for a 77 year old insulin dependent diabetic? So if they have any issues, they should talk to their doctor always. I know I'm the broken record saying talk to the doctor, talk to the doctor. But this is what we're always concerned with. We want to make sure that we're not just going, you know, we don't have distributors sitting right outside the hospital waiting for people to come out of the clinic with a table and promoting for medical reasons. Hey, take this with this. this, this. So we want to make sure we're staying in the, well, in the realm of wellness and health with, with nutrition. But again, a 77-year-old who's insulin dependent, they are most likely on some type of medication, clearly insulin, and a probiotic should not hurt them. And it certainly won't interfere with anything. So they can talk to their doctor, but I think it would be a great thing for them to be on. Um, Hikamil Hili, does simple probiotic have to help to have a better bowel movement because some of the clients have issues with that? Or is it fiber and herb better? Ah, great question. So they can have them together. They can have this product and fiber and herb. If it comes down to customer having a certain amount of money, um, then they can choose whatever works better. I would try the fiber and herb. If they've been on fiber and herb, maybe they can switch to simply probiotic, see how they're feeling, if they're what's working better for their bowel movements. And then whatever works best, if they're very um, price conscious, they can choose one of those that are that works better for their price. Um, but if not, they can take them both. Absolutely not a problem. And of course, whatever helps them achieve healthy bowel movements. Generally, what I've noticed is when people get on Herbalife Nutrition, they feel great and they're, they, they can get regular with their bowel movements because of the good nutrition. Judy, I'll just say Judy Decanai, Decanai, good morning. Is it safe to be taken by an individual who's undergone surgery like removal of gallstones. Oh, that's, an, that's another. These are excellent questions, by the way. Um, clearly, a lot of you are very, very smart. So I see, again, no problem with that. Um, they should always talk to their doctor, especially if they're post-surgical operation and they're concerned with um, when they remove the gallbladder, the gallbladder helps to make bile acids, and bile acids help to emulsify fats, so they help with digestion. So a lot of doctors, after the gallbladder is removed, they're worried about diet because they don't digest fats. So sometimes if they eat a very fatty uh, diet, they may go to the bathroom and, it, and it's very oily. A lot of oily fats come out um, when they void. So this is something they may want to talk to about the doctor because they have if the gallbladder is gone, the digestive enzymes are not, enough, are, are not sufficient. So make sure they're going to be on the correct diet but I don't see any problem with them having probiotics. It shouldn't hurt them. However, the doctor may want to know because they're going to put them on a very particular, probably lower fat diet. Okay. Arlene, uh, Arlene Ganoy, can we recommend simply probiotic to colon cancer patients? You know, that's an excellent question. Now, whenever we get involved with cancer, we always want to be very, we always want to be very careful. Again, not from a medical perspective, but from a legal perspective. The only reason I say that is, Let's say you're a get team right now. You've got a plan to move to Prez team in three years. You finally make Prez team. Now you want to go to Chairman's Club. You're making a lot of money. Now someone says, ah, they've got a lot of money. They have cancer and they feel that you should give them some money and they want to le take legal action because they think that you acted like their doctor. So you have to be very careful. Protect your business, protect your check. Whenever you hear cancer, um, Always make sure that they're working with their doctor, following the label directions, and getting things cleared by their doctor. There's no medical issue. It's not as though the probiotic is going to cause any issues with the cancer. But as soon as I hear something like that, I would absolutely say, talk to your doctor, see if they're okay with the probiotic, and give them a label or give them a, you know, print out the label and, or give them the product and have it taken in to see the doctor. If the doctor approves, awesome. Then they're going to be great and they'll have the doctor approval. How long would I be taking Simply Probiotic to feel the results since I have stomach acidity? Everyone is different. Great question. Um, and I, it's very hard to say. Some people may feel it immediately. Some people may take days or even weeks. But the whole idea of nutrition is balance. You want to make sure you're getting your nutrients in 
and the body starts to rebalance. Remember the presentation we did. It's good and bad bacteria, and they're getting balanced together. Okay? So you want to have more of the good, less of the bad. Trish, I have a client who has hormonal imbalance, overweight, and her doctor didn't give her antibiotics but prescribed yogurt and other fermented food. That's good. Is it okay for her to take twice a day to mix in her shake? Absolutely. Now, again, price consciousness, maybe start once a day. It may be expensive. If she has got the volume points to spend, great. No problem. If she's already using, sounds like she's already using fermented products, and let her use the Simply Probiotic in addition. It's awesome. It's not going to hurt her. Remember that other question? She's not going to overdose. There's no overdosing with probiotics. And the, um, the digestive tract will help balance it out. But yeah, if she's uh, okay with using it twice a day, great. Uh, Marianne, ta so Marianne, can we take this opportunity? Press team. Yeah, press team. Oh, hi, Marianne. Can we take the opportunity to ask you to share with us exactly what products you use and how much daily as a personal regimen? Absolutely, Marianne. I love talking about products that I use. Now, now you know that we have different products in the U.S., and we usually have um, some of the – we have a broader spectrum of products. So let me start with my basics. Let me give you the basic products that I love that we have in the house. So I love cookies and cream shake. My wife, we have a, we have a product in Herbalife that's a non-soy shake. And it's called the F1 Select. So it's made with quinoa, rice, and pea. Um, and so we use, uh, I use the cookies and cream. My wife likes the other one. Okay. So I like my standard soy protein cookies and cream. And I can put my active fiber complex. I can put my simply probiotic. We also have something called immunity essentials that we just launched out here, um, which is a, a yeast, a healthy yeast. It's a new product that we're using. And we're going to hopefully get it out to you guys with time. So you're going to have the bacteria and the healthy yeast. it will be a great combination. So I can combine those together. And, of course, uh, Dr. Heber loves to promote PPP. I don't use a lot of PPP because I like to put a lot of uh, cookies and cream. I like the taste of sweet. So I'll put four scoops of cookies. So that's how I do my shakes often. I like uh, either water with PDM, the protein drink mix, and then I have my aloe, and I'll use a little bit of tea. I don't like a lot of liftoff. It's very strong for me, but I'll use a little tea or guarana, the NRG, okay? So just so you know. Now, with tablets, I love fish oil. I take a lot of fish oil. I give fish oil to everyone in my family because I believe in the omega-3s. They're so important. And, of course, extra cal or a calcium product that you have in the region. Um, if you have any kind of, let's say, fiber and herb, if you have cell activator, uh, if you have any of the Shazandra Rose Guard. So all those botanicals that can help, those are a great um, sort of uh, series of products that you can use. So I would start with those. Those are like my favorites. And we have a lot of, you know, we have the Herbalife 24 products, and we have some other things uh, like Nightworks that we can use. But I would say as the core products, the shake tea, aloe, tablets, and powders. Very straightforward and pretty basic. So when I travel... Any country that has those, I take the same thing. So thank you for asking. I love to talk about what I use, and I take a lot of it. Um, Kazia, question from Duan Abanto. What's the importance of probiotics, especially for women? So just as we discussed in the presentation, the importance is think about it. What your great-grandmother used to eat is very different than what you eat now. The soil in the ground has changed. The food supply has changed. Everything has changed from when your great-grandparents were children. They ate food that was very uh, rich in probiotics. We don't have the same food available. That's why we believe supplementation with Herbalife Nutrition is so important, okay? Um, uh, p during the past training about probiotics, it was said other probiotic products has a 20% survival through the intestine. Clients may say they will just take three or four servings to equal what our Simply Probiotics can give, especially when they have no issues in weight management. Thelma, lagrimas, great question. So a customer might say, you know what? I'm going to get um, another probiotic and just take 10 times the amount. They can do that It's if they like it. But for me, it doesn't make a lot of financial sense. From a volume point perspective or a money perspective, why not just buy Simply Probiotic, take one scoop, one billion units, and absorb almost all of them into the intestine. It's just more efficient. 
instead of having all the other stuff that they're taking four or five times the amount, and most of it's being destroyed. Now, if it's something like yogurt, kefir, that they just love, you know, they, they love the delicious taste of it, or it's a fermented milk, no problem. That's their choice. But I would say from an efficacy perspective, it makes more sense to have simply probiotic, I think. Okay? John Felice Lamberde, great talk. What's the effect of broad-spectrum antibiotics on Simply Probiotics? Oh, very good question. Thank you so much. So simply, um, so it doesn't matter what type of probiotic. Once the probiotic has been um, out of the protein shell and it's sitting in the small intestine, it's also sensitive to medication. So the job of a medicine, a, a bacteria, antibacterial, is to go all throughout the body and destroy any bacteria it sees. Now, it may not kill all the bacteria because you have trillions and trillions of bacteria, so it's very hard to kill everything. However, these are also going to be sensitive to the bacteria. But what does that mean? It simply means if someone's taking antibiotics for seven days, they should be taking their probiotics every day because they're destroying and they're replenishing, destroying, replenishing. And that's what we do every day. So. Anyone, uh, so these will also be sensitive to medication if they're taking antibiotics. Rowena, oh, so it's Ken. Do probiotics make you poop a lot? <laughs> That's a great question, Ken. Ken Aquino, in theory, they're not going to make you poop a lot more, but what I found is people who are having problems pooping, they get more regular. So it helps with regularity because a lot of the communication to move the poop through is done through the bacteria. So the bacteria get... You know, they get sort of regulated. Yeah, and they, and that it helps. Um, Ryan Lucas, do our probiotics help IBS? That's uh, technically a medical issue, Ryan. So yeah. irritable breast syndrome, we can't make a medical claim on. So we have to. So we can't really say that. That's why we say indigestion and some of these things that are not medical issues. That's where probiotics help. But as soon as you get a medical diagnosis, that's what medications are, and that's when the doctor is treating it. But the doctor may say. They should be on a great probiotic so they can use herbal nutrition. Chris Sanchez, hi, can I use, uh, t can I make fermented drinks like coconut water, kefir, or sauerkraut? Oh, can I use it? Yes, you can mix it in if you want. Try it with a fermented drink. You know, we've never tried that here. I'll tell Susan Bowerman, we've tried baking with it and doing different things, cooking, baking, but we've never actually tried fermenting something. So you get like a, d a double fermented bacteria and natural bacteria. It's a great idea, so no problems. Uh, that's Chris Sanchez. Uh, Ren Anig, uh, Anieg, for people who are a vegan vegetarian, how does probiotics help okay. or improve their daily food intake? Um, well, it's a good question. You know, when you think about it, it's just going to be, just as we've been saying, it's going to help provide the essential nature of the bacteria that they need every single day. And remember, a lot of people are going to say, well, I'm vegan, vegetarian, I'm getting plenty of uh, nutrition, and maybe they are because it's feeding as a prebiotic, but we know that stress, the immune system, being busy and running around in a very busy society is going to destroy a lot of the bacteria. So just understand it's good to supplement with something, and if they're not having um, kefir or sauerkraut or whatever their favorite thing is, um, they should try Simply Probiotic. Do probiotics pass through breast milk? Wow, excellent question, Joannis Chua. You guys, these are like these are like a bunch of doctor questions and nurses. So I, I know we have a lot of doctors and nurses out there in Herbalife Philippines, but these are fantastic questions. A lot of smart people. Um, now the probiotics are probably not going to pass through the breast milk. The simply probiotic in its uh, shell and its in its spore is not going to pass through the breast milk. However, what's incredible about the breast milk, it's actually the probiotic in, in mom's milk when she's breastfeeding, it's actually made on the nipple of the uh, breast tissue. So the nipple is actually creating a healthy bacteria that the baby gets introduced right into the mouth. So no, it's not as though the, the probiotic circulates around the body and goes into the mom's breast milk and comes out into the baby's mouth, but the mom is making natural probiotics at the level of the nipple, and that bacteria is get, being created. So that's why breast milk is superior 
in nutritional uh, value to just about everyone. Uh, right and that's why we say uh, mom can, can use lots of great products, and then when she feeds the baby naturally, the baby's getting amazing nutrition uh, just from the breast milk, okay? Well, uh, <laughs> thank you. So, no uh, so, uh, thank you. So, uh, so, uh, so, I think that is, uh, that's it, uh, Dr. Luigi, and Marie is on the line. Hi, Marie. Hi, hi, Dr. Luigi. Hi, Blend. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Luigi. I know you've uh, answered a lot of questions, and we also know that it's already late in your office. It's uh, around, I think, 8 p.m. there in the U.S. Yes, but for you guys, for the Philippines, I will do anything. This has been wow. a true pleasure. Every time I come to the Philippines, you guys have such an incredible culture, incredible love for Herbalife incredible the potential the you know when you guys teach me the size of the market and 90 million plus people 95 million i get so excited so i will stay up late anytime to do trainings for wow. the philippines Thank so you i so love much. this i'm so happy you guys are doing these series of trainings and i'm going to be i'm committed to get more trainers on these these training calls whether it's dr heber susan bowerman Samantha Clayton, Dana Ryan, anyone you want, Laura Chacon, Steve Hennig, uh, Louis Caro, maybe you can get Louis Caro, whomever you guys want, make the request, I'll try and get them. Because Thank I think so it would be great. We really appreciate that, Doctor. Thank you very much, Doc. We'll let you know. So thank you very much, everyone, for uh, actively participating in this webinar. Um, Glenn, anything else to add? Yeah, um, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Luigi. Thank you very much for our presentation.